Cause I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bear man. I've breathed the mountain air, man. I've traveled, I've had my chair, man. I've been everywhere. Been to Talamo, Seymour, Fish Creek, Lulabar, Nambo, Mruchito, Kilmore, Rillabar, Bishop, Fish Creek, Lemmerville, Wallaville, Connemara, Connemara, Strath, Ryan, Prosper, Fish Creek, Darwin, Ginger, Nilliquin, Makilla, Walla, Miller, Burger, Villa, Cumber, Rillabar, Fish Creek. I've been everywhere, man. Ah, yeah. Lucky stars being everywhere, man. We are going to a little town called Fish Creek, not very far away from where my daughter lives down there in South Gippsland. Ray Stefani is the president of the Fish Creek Football and Netball Club, one of them, I'm told. Ray, good morning and welcome to the Two Blokes Chatting Radio Show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, sad circumstances for which we are speaking to you, but what we'll do first is uh, let's keep the happy stuff going for a moment and tell us a bit about Fish Creek, where it is, and what people do in and around Fish Creek. Uh, well, Fish Creek's a, a small uh, farming community um, in South Gippsland, about, uh, yeah, only about uh, 20 minutes, half an hour away from Wilson's Prom National Park. So, uh, great little uh, little village, coastal village, and, um, yeah, a lot of lot of farming enterprises around here, dairy farming and beef cattle, um, yeah, as well as um, yeah, numerous other businesses, beautiful part of the world. And watch me just inflame the situation here slightly. The second best football club in the region, I'm told. Um, my son-in-law said I had to say that because he's, he's uh, very heavily involved with the mighty Lions up the road. <laughs> well, he would, he would say that even though he's incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> right, morning, Ash, if you're having a listen. Um, so, uh, yes, we, we, were, we do this segment every week in terms of uh, finding a local town and we talk a bit about it. But we mentioned on the radio last week a very sad event occurred in... Uh, your town last week. Tell us a bit about what happened. Uh, yes, well, we were alerted at uh, about 5 a.m. Uh, last Saturday morning um, that there was a fire at our, uh, our, local, our club rooms. And um, yeah, uh, upon uh, arriving there, we um, found the building engulfed in flames, and uh, local CFA brigades were there doing their best. and um, and they unfortunately uh, couldn't be saved. Um, I've lost everything. How old was the building? Uh, it was built, uh, there's two, it was a double story building. There's change rooms down the bottom. They were built in 1961, I believe. And, um, and then the upstairs social rooms were built uh, around 1974, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, apart from the 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 stuff that goes on there a uh, uh, you know a really important building in the town as well obviously oh look it it really was um it uh it wasn't just uh you know the, the football netball club social rooms it was a it was a community area we had there was so many so many functions there over the years you know weddings 21st special birthdays um our local primary school would use the facility every year for their for their christmas dinner all the kids would walk down from the school and parents and and, um, and and have lunch there um, prior to winding up the school year. Um, just a real meeting point for for everyone in the local community. Well, it seems in the regional areas we, we talk to that the football netball club is so a big part of the community. Are there any plans to uh, help you rebuild it? Yeah, look, our, our local community has just been sensational. You know, the support has been amazing and it, not just our local community it's from the supports come from all over australia to be honest um we've had phone calls, so many phone calls messages emails you name it um people um you know that are they just <laughs> they just want to help um and they they feel our pain and i think that people that are involved in in community clubs like ours um and they understand what it takes to run a community club um, and, and we're all volunteers, um, like most community clubs are, and I, and I think it, you know, that they they feel our pain. Um, I have no doubt because I think at the end of the day, that they, you know, they know that well, it could have been them, it could have been their club um, that this happened to. So it's devastating. Can you tell us a bit about the history of the, the football and netball club then? Sure. Um, look, it's, the club was established in, in eighteen ninety one, and. Um, and the, the original ground where they played um, was probably about a kilometre north of where um, of where the ground is today. And um, there's a, there was a great old photo in the rooms that's now now gone. Um, some of the original players and 
and they're, one of them is leaning on a, a tree stump. And um, from the old timers tell me that that tree stump was actually in the, on the oval. <laughs> <laughs> they, play, they played around tree, tree stumps. So, uh, you know, just amazing. And, and look, like I said, Fish Creek's a small farming community and, and um, of course, more so back then than, than even today. And um, um, lots of, you know, it was all families um, running these farms and um, the, the football netball club was where they came came together to not just play the sport but to socialise and um, the Fish Creek's got a it's well documented, got a rich, rich history um, in uh, in football across Victoria, um, you know the, the most most successful uh, club in, in regional Victoria um, 30, 37 senior premierships, so the 37th we won we won this year and um, you know what a, what a, what a roller coaster of emotions it's been with the euphoria of um, of winning, you know, winning the premiership this year, and and then um, you know only you know six seven weeks later, our our club rooms um, being wiped out. And uh, I was told by uh, Jason, your 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 ex president, that uh, you also lost a life member during the during the week. We did, we did. Uh, Cliff McGannon, the, the McGannon family are synonymous with Fish Creek, and. Um, and we uh, we put Cliff to rest yesterday, and um, it was a, a massive, a massive turnout for his for his funeral. He, he was a larger than life character in Fish Creek, and um, I was speaking uh, with his eldest son Barry, who's still heavily involved at the club, and uh, and Barry's bought the sons are as well. And um, and I said, look, it's uh, it's nearly a it's a double wake today. Um, we're saying goodbye to Cliff and. And I think for many of the people that were there, they were saying goodbye to our to our beloved um, uh, club rooms as well. Yeah, it's um, it's. I mean, it doesn't doesn't. Uh, ha- there's no, never a good fire, is there? But uh, you know, just to, to the devastation associated with a community like Fish Creek. As I said, my, my daughter lives in Menian, and you know, so we know Fishy pretty well. And uh, you know, I know that it. At uh, two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, um, everyone hates each other's guts from each other team. But uh, you know, there's a, a really strong community down in that part of the world. We have a really great footy league as well, stretches all the way over to Morwell. And uh, you know, we as soon as she told me about, it, I said, you know, we're going to get you on the show and and see what we can do in terms of helping. There is a GoFundMe page, as I understand it. Is that right? There is a GoFundMe page which was set up um, on the last Saturday, and um, I haven't checked the total this morning, but. Um I'm fairly certain it's north of 130 grand. Um, it's uh, just been phenomenal. Um, the generosity of people, it's, it's, it's just been amazing. Well, you can count another 100 going in from here um, today. We'll, we'll do something about that. Also, can you, we can find the link pretty easily, can we, through social media or whatever? Yes, you can. Look, you can just go to uh, gofundme.com and look up Fish Creek Football Netball Club and it'll take you straight there. Or It's also on our um uh, football Club Facebook page, um, and there's yeah, there's n- numerous ways um, of, of finding the link, and um, look, uh, we much appreciate um, you know, a- any bit of help that, that, that people can give us. Uh, we'll, we'll find the link and put it on our uh, on our Facebook as well. Uh, Ray, sad times to be talking to you, uh, but look forward to uh, maybe getting down there and uh, watching Fish Creek runners up to the Stony Creek Lions next year, <laughs> and have a cool one with you. <laughs> Well, that sounds fantastic, and um, I'd hate, I hate to disappoint you, but I, 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 I can't see us being runner-up. But um, look, um, I'm sure the Lions will uh, give it their best shot. Uh, we'll give it a, we'll give it a good old crack anyway. Ray Stefani, president of the Fish Creek Kangaroos, uh, all the very best to you, and we'll uh, we'll keep in touch. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate your time. No good worries. Luck, Ray. At all.